A very warm welcome everyone, thank you for joining me. My name is Nick, we're on the Amiga 1200, yes, so the AGA chipset, and we're looking at Extreme Racing, published by Black Magic in 1995. It's a game for one to four players, unless you've got two Amigas connected together by a null cable, and then you can have an amazing eight players, and imagine it'd be pretty crazy in that mode. Now, lots of different versions here. We've got Cup Race, Season Race, and um, Championship. We'll go into a Season, well, it's not Championship, a Practice mode. So we'll try and pick a car, we'll see how far we can get. Uh, this is the first time I've ever played this one. Um, so there's the uh, four different players potentially there. But don't worry, we will use the whole screen. Um, who should we pick? I, they're supposed to be unique cars, I'm not sure how much of a difference they actually um, make there. There are quite long loading times on this game, so I will edit them down if I can for, for you. So first track, I believe it's like a figure of eight, it's a road circuit. It's heavily influenced by Super Mario Kart on the uh, uh, the Nintendo, so we'll see how close it gets to that. It's not going to have the charm, I don't think, of Super Mario Kart, but that's uh, yes, it's mm, a bit worried at the moment. Bit of speech there, so off we go. It's starting off quite slow, but you can upgrade your car as you go through by collecting coins and finishing in various different positions. Yeah, the, the handling is going to take a bit of a while to get used to. Now, like Mario Kart, oops, there there will be. Uh, there will be special things to pick up. Oh, and don't bash into that thing. Initially, I think this is going to struggle much like the other first-person shooters used to struggle uh, with this sort of, like 3D environment. I'm getting the same sort of annoyance I did when I played um, Inspector Gadget Racing on the Game Boy Advance. Looks like the system's struggling a little bit with it, and uh, ultimately, it's not immediately fun. Uh, five laps per race, so that you can alter that and then it's on to the next race. In 1996, there was an upgrade pack available which gave you extra tracks and also a track editor, so you might get a bit more joy out of the game from there. But I'm being left behind a little bit here by the rest of the field, which isn't uh, too surprising. I'm not enjoying this so far. I think it did get good reviews at the time, but I think it's a little bit late in the day, 1995. PlayStation was getting into full swing then. But um, this, uh, I won't complain that it's slow, because the, the speed of it will speed up. If you do a cut version, you can decide what league you're in, and that will alter the speed of the vehicles. Yeah, it's a bit lacklustre for me, although I can see it's quite clever. It's trying to be like Super Mario, so you have to compare it to Super Mario, and Super Mario is a lot more fun uh, than this thing. Yeah, engine sounds a little bit laboured as well. Did you have this one back in the day? Let me know. Black Magic Software, 1995. I don't think I was um, playing my Amiga that much then. Right, so I've got a turbo. We need more of those. And I've hit a banana skin. But the more you play these games, the better it gets. See, it takes ages to get going. I'm being lapped by the rest of the racers as well. There's probably something I'm not quite doing uh, right, which is normally the case. Wrong way. So if you get hit in a spin... Well, that, why is that the wrong way? Man, annoying. So if you get hit in a spin, it's quite easy to lose your sense of direction. Especially on a figure of eight course. You see how many laps there uh, in the bottom left we're on? And the positions of everyone uh, next to that. So I'm 8th, that green face thing, well last. Is this extreme? Well, not really. Uh, there are better races out there. I do think simple games for the system, designed for the system, work best. Whenever you've got a particular system, this goes to the spectrum as well, and any system really, where it's attempting too much, suddenly it turns a little bit messy and not quite as good fun. Um, this has come, uh, I'll come 8th there. No points, so hardly any money, because I don't we picked up any coins on the track to upgrade the uh, track. I'm Curzon. Yes, I think um, too late in the day to be super successful this game. That's my initial thoughts. We'll try a few races, see if it gets any better, or we'll get the hang of it, and then we'll leave it. Um, if I owned it as a kid, would I come back to it? Well, I don't think so, if I had other games available as well. I was a fan of top-down racing games like Supercars 1 and 2 and Nitro. And then it's like simulations I was sort of like in then. Uh, Micropro's Formula 1 Grand Prix, a stunt car racer, if you can call that a simulation, that was good. 
Uh, this one's in an era the Amiga isn't really best suited to, even the Amiga 1200. If you disagree, of course, let me know. And we're on the beach. See, they tried to make the sea animated there, which has cost it a little bit of brain power. Can I stay with the rest of the field? There's a police car, a truck, so different vehicles, so that's good. Uh, rather reminiscent of the um, beach one, the island sort of like theme on Super Mario. But not quite as fast and not quite as fun. There's a shark there in the water. So if you bat into that, you get into a spin. Those question marks are extra powers. There's a coin there. And there will be a shark you need to avoid. And I didn't avoid it. And the car has sunk. Yeah, this is really, really annoying me. I won't um, lie to you. If I wasn't in the middle of the review, I would have turned it off by now. But you've got to persevere with a lot of games rather than getting bored with them and turn it off completely. Give them a bit of a fair crack of the rip. But what I said before in the opening of the video is um, just like first person shooters, uh, like Gloom, uh, etc. It's, um, it's struggling really. And it is, all credit to it, it is using the whole of the screen. Uh, I'd like to see it in four players, with four of you there using a quarter of the screen, screen each. Uh, connected to an old cable, there's eight of you. I don't think many people would have experienced that, because that would have been having to buy two copies of the game in 1995. If you did do that, let me know. So eight players playing on this might be a bit of fun, but in this, just one player, the computer AI, is a bit strong for me initially, and it's just driving away, because I need to upgrade the car. As I say, whether I, if I put it in practice mode or cut mode, I might get a bit more joy out of it, or whether there's any cheats, I'm not sure if there are, any cheats where you can get ultimate upgrades already and you turn super fast, that might be a bit fun. But it seems like there's a little bit grinding at the start, and um, someone with not much patience as me, especially when I was a kid, I don't think I would have had that patience, I would have turned to some other games. Lap record there, uh, it's only registering the laps or times that you're doing, rather than the computer, so you just need to beat yourself each time. I would have liked a ghost car feature, but again, that might have been um, taxing the Amiga 1200 a bit too much. A ghost feature for those people that don't know is when the computer saves your best lap and then puts like a ghost car on the track that um, recreates your best lap and you try and beat that. So you get a it's like racing yourself essentially. Um, man, I'm not liking this. Have you played it a lot of times back in the day? Let me know. How good did you get? When does it start getting really exciting? Is it like maybe three or four hours in? And he sinks again. Lap five. Man. Well, the tracks are varied, I suppose. This track is a lot different from the first one. Be interesting to see what the track editor is like. But it's very busy. There's a lot on the screen at the same time in terms of moving graphics and perspectives. Uh, Nintendo systems, particularly the Super Nintendo, was uh, geared towards that. Amiga, not so much. I've come last again. Eighth place. Hooray for me. Shall we get rid of this? No, let's let's do another track. See if I get any better. See relent. So there's all the extras. I've got 800 cash. So if I wanted to, I could get a buy a turbo. Is that? But I I won't do. Turbo. I need a super turbo to catch up the rest of the field where I am at the moment. As I say, I will be loading times down, so if you load this up yourself, either emulation on the real system, don't be alarmed that it's taken ages to load. Um, as I say, I just to save you looking at a black screen for 30 seconds and me just waffling on, I want to keep it at some sort of speed. There we go. That's entertainment. Ah. Or however that song goes, without the Tarzan bit at the end. Right, so we're in the sort of like woods now, are we? Without any trees. It's a wood without any trees, a dust track then. Right, seems um, you get rewarded greatly by taking a, a tight racing line. If you take a wide line like I'm doing, um, you're losing ground. An upgrade to, to um, get better steering or better tyres would probably be uh, good. Bump into an object and you're never going to see them again. You can run people over. Were much bigger than the cars. Right, there's some question marks. See on the top left, it's randomising me some sort of special power. Don't know what that is. So I'm still in touch with the back of the field. Just. Hmm. Now these sorts of games was like ten a penny on the Game Boy Advance, the system I owned. We reviewed quite a few of those. The worst one being Crazy Frog Racer. Um, and this does feel like a bad Game Boy Advance Mario clone. If I was reviewing it on the Game Boy Advance, I'd probably give it quite a bad review. 
This one, it's hard to know what to compare it against against other Amiga 1200 uh, games. But as a plain retro feel with everything there, I'm not liking it too much. But as I say, that might be just me. I believe the game got pretty good reviews at the time. But it's all about your own matter of opinion, your own experience. And for me, I'm, I'm not feeling it too much. But there we go. Good to have your own opinion about things, even if it's different to everyone else's. Right. As long as you say why, you've got to justify it. Me, it's because I'm not very good at it straight away, and it's a little bit slow to start off with. The difficulty level's a bit too high. Although the, the tracks are the tracks are very varied. Each one has been different to the, to the last one. Road holding could be a little bit better, but that's something to work towards. Uh, no map on the screen. I think there may be a button where you can uh, do that so it goes over the top. That would have been good if it defaulted that naturally. So if you can see the map on the on the screen straight away, that give you a bit of a warning about the bends. But the laps are quite short, so it doesn't take too long to learn them. Each race being five laps rather than three. So if you keep playing it over and over again, you will get a hang of when the next bend is anyway. So that's not that's not a huge thing. Got to learn how to power drift perfectly here. If there are any uh, other sort of like games like Super Mario on the Amiga 1200 I haven't covered or similar which work a bit better then let me know and I might put them on the list and review them later on. So that's three tracks done. I think we'll do one track for luck. So we've got 100 cash there. If you win it looks like you get 2,000 and then you can start buying quite a lot of stuff. Not doing very well in the championship at all. Would uh, definitely pick Super Mario first, a long way over this. So we've got 900. Yeah, tyres are 1,200. We're still a bit away off that. You sh I should keep an eye out for the coins a little bit better on the, the track. They will be there, either grey or in gold. Done. Right, so this will be the last one. I'm bound to win, I know, this time. I'm bound to win. Am I going to win? It's a purple track. Yes, now what what Mario tracks is supposed to be like? It's a floating city, so maybe like that Rainbow Island. Not Rainbow, what's that one where it's in the sky with a rainbow colour? That might be Rainbow Island. This one's purple, in the sky, so it's the same thing, Three, but purple. Two, two one, go, 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 that's what I said, go. Right, let's try and stay with them this time. Looks like, yeah, it's, it's tight 90 degree corners, so it's exactly like the Mario one. I'd like to see a lot more coins fly up. Let's see, I missed, there's a grey one there. I'm already losing ground. Yeah, see, and the uh, the weapons aren't as varied. Crash into a car, you lose a bit of time. Yeah, weapons aren't as varied. Graphics are messy. Uh, where it gets complicated at a junction, it's easy to lose where you're going. Road holding is not good compared to the speed. Yeah, it's just a bad copy, really. I suppose there's worse ones. I mean, it's clever what they have done with what they have available. Well, oh, there's some monsters there doing whatever they're doing. Easy to miss them completely. Hmm. I think I'm going to come last again, aren't I? Look at the positions below. First place is that guy. It's two away from me. I'm going to get lapped again. It's probably doing something I'm doing hideously wrong and I fall off the sky again. Maybe I should try it with a different car, but I suspect it's going to be similar again. Each one of these cars is supposed to have different um, road holding and speed, I think. But I wouldn't be surprised if they're all roughly the same. If you had the map editor, let me know. Did you make any great creations? Or was it didn't it add that much to it, really? Cars plodding around, not sounding too exciting. Right, so we picked up another weapon. What's that? Looks like it was just a jump thing, and that was it. So that's the thing you can't do immediately. There's no fire button to jump. Would have been nice. Mario Kart, you can jump to go uh, around the corners or take a tight line. That would have made it a little bit more fun. Unless there's a keyboard one, which you can do that, but uh, it's not in the instructions that I've got. I've been lapped again by the whole field. Lap four. So one lap after this, and then we're out of here. Boom. Right, over the grating, through Purple Land. I don't know how many races there are for each championship, so you're getting your value there. I think there's a few more, at least. Maybe I should have done Cup Mode, but anyway, we jumped straight into a season when we maybe weren't quite ready. As I say, these reviews aren't about being an expert. 
as you probably know if you're a regular watcher of the channel, it's if you've got bought it as a kid, either for Christmas, your birthday, or some other occasion, or you even bought it yourself in your pocket money, how many more times would you have played it, or would you have gone back to it and played it again? Um, quite often as a kid you won't read all the instructions, you'll just jump in. Uh, if you've seen a friend playing it, you'll base off that, and there might be things you find out later down the line. But based on that premise, I wouldn't go back to this game because, um, you know, I, it's it's not it's not ticking all the things and I didn't qualify there as well and it's loading the next uh, track or whatever. So I hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Extreme Racing on the Commodore Amiga 1200, published by Blackmagic Software in 1995. What's happened here? It looks like it might have crashed or it's doing another bit of long loading. But anyway, got any comments about that game, uh, then uh, let me know. A big thank you to everyone that's subscribed so far, helping the channel grow. It is appreciated. Still a black screen. If you want to help a bit more, there's patreon.com slash njenkin. And until um, next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.